to the head coach of the Albany Great Danes men's basketball team. It is Will Brown. Coach, it's Tom Goslowski Gods. It's Chris Honorado filling in for Roger and Zach today. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. How you guys doing? What's up, Will? We're doing great. Big win over the weekend, 27 points over St. Francis, Brooklyn. What were some of the pauses for your team in that matchup? Well, I thought we did a tremendous job rebounding the ball, and I thought, uh, especially in the second half, uh, I thought we defended for long stretches uh, fairly well. So, you know, we didn't play great in the first half. Uh, you know, we turned the ball over too much, but I thought in the second half we really played solid basketball all around, and we got contributions from a lot of different guys. Hey, Will, do you feel like that was the best second half you guys have played? I know there have been certain games where you've struggled to, to either put teams away or, or to play well in a second half, but uh, but it, it felt like, to me, maybe the most complete second half you guys have played. Well, I thought, uh, you know, it, it's hard to tell. I thought we played well in the second half against Penn State, and I thought we played really well um, in the second half against a very good Grand Canyon team who... Uh, beat San Diego State last week and had Louisville on the rope. So, uh, but, you know, with coming off a, uh, a, a loss at Canisius where we played poorly and, and granted Canisius has won six of their last seven games, um, you know, I thought, uh, the second half, uh, we did what we needed to do. We played the way we're capable of playing and we did it on both ends of the floor. We were very unselfish defensively. We were very unselfish offensively. Um, you know, but it, it's hard with this team right now because we've had our rotation intact for three games, the first three games of the year. And then, you know, guys started going down and, uh, hopefully, uh, right after Christmas, uh, we'll be back to that rotation that we had for the first three games of the season. I'm tired of watching my coaches, uh, suit up and practice, uh, cause I can't put any of those guys in, in the games and all those guys won championships here and, uh, you know, when they're out playing some of our current guys, uh, it really tests my patience level. <laughs> our eligibility is also used up, too. So Chris and I cannot help you out anytime soon. It is Coach Will Brown joining us here on the phone lines. Coach, let's get a little scan report on the SMU Mustangs. What can we expect from this team tomorrow night? Yeah, they're one of the best rebounding teams in the country. Uh, I don't think people realize that a year ago they were, I think, like 10-0 and and top 10 in the country. Uh, Larry Brown was coaching them. Uh, they're huge. Uh, their point guard six six, and everybody else is bigger than him. Uh, they're led by uh, a Duke transfer. He uh, he couldn't get on the court at Duke, but he's a leading scorer at uh, SMU. Uh, Semi uh, Ojale, who's a six seven, two hundred and fifty pound uh, a power forward who scores in and out. Uh, they're just a very efficient team. Uh, they're not a deep team at all. They really just play. Uh, the five starters, but they rebound well. They've got great length, uh, defensively, and they play really well, uh, you know, together. And, you know, the good thing for us is they actually play tonight. <laughs> they play Stanford at home tonight, and they're turning around and playing us, uh, tomorrow. I don't know how to take that, so we'll spin it, to, uh, to our guys that they clearly don't respect us. And uh, they're just going to give us a paycheck and uh, hopefully send us home with a uh, with a loss. So uh, you know how uh, you know us coaches are a little nutty. We come up with uh, all these all these crazy reasons, hey man, uh, yeah. you know, try to motivate our guys and and, and get them ready. And you know, so uh, but it's a good opportunity to play. You know, a really good team. Uh, we played well at Penn State. Uh, we didn't play great at Cincinnati, but we were in striking distance at halftime and kind of, you know, succumbed to that pressure in the second half. And so I'm anxious to see uh, how we compete against a team that will make a run uh, in their conference for sure. Well, I want to ask you about Travis Charles because he he was terrific Saturday night, and and you know it's just so good to to see him back on the floor. But I'm curious, and I know you you answered the questions after Saturday's game regarding David Nichols, saying the fact that he didn't start was a coach's decision. Do you expect him to start uh, tomorrow night at SMU? Yeah, I, I do. Uh, I expect uh, you know David to start. Uh, it was more. Uh, Again, coaches, uh, you know, have a method to their madness. It was more to light a little bit of a fire, uh, you know, uh, and more of a wake up call, uh, than anything. So I expect him, uh, to start. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, Travis was good, uh, yesterday. So, uh, the knee, 
Uh, he played. He felt pretty good in the game. We were concerned how he'd feel uh, the next morning. Uh, he felt pretty good yesterday, and, uh, you know, he just had to deal with so much. Uh, and as you saw yesterday and you saw in the Siena game, you know, he, ha- he hasn't been healthy much since he's been here, but when he's been here, uh, when he's been healthy, he's been very productive. Um, and he compliments Roley and Steyer really well. Those guys are terrific defensively. Travis can score the ball, and then we're anxious to get our most talented big guy back, hopefully right after Christmas, Jerron Lands, uh, who does it really on both ends, even though he's only played three games for us so far and he's new to this level. He has the most potential out of any of our front court guys. So if we can keep Travis healthy, add Jerron back to the mix right after Christmas, I think we're going to have a terrific front court moving forward. You Albany men's basketball coach, Coach Will Brown, joins us here on the phone lines on Big Board Sports 104.5. The team, Coach, this is the last time we're going to talk to you before Christmas. What does your schedule look like for this team going forward after the SMU game? Yeah, well, we play uh, Tuesday night. Uh, we fly back Wednesday, and uh, we will practice uh, Thursday morning. And then uh, all of our guys, or I should say most of our guys, uh, will be heading home on the 23rd. And uh, they'll get a chance to spend some time with family. Whoever's not going home uh, will stay with with me and my family over the holiday. And we'll practice uh, the evening of the 26th. So most of our guys will be back on uh, the afternoon of the 26th, and we go 26, 27, 28, 29, and, you know, we play at Columbia in New York City, which we're excited about. The last time we played there a couple of years ago, it was like a home game for us with all the alums that we have in New York City. We had a great turnout, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, but for me, more importantly, uh, looking for the opportunity to spend some time uh, with my family, uh, you know, being a coach, it's tough on your family uh, for long periods of the year with all the travel and being away. And, uh, you know, but I'm also looking forward to the 26th when I think we'll have, uh, you know, that group of guys that we expected to have, all you know, most of the year, that eight-man rotation. I think we'll actually have them on the floor uh, for the first time since the Oneonta game. So, you know, always thinking hoops. So, uh, you know, that's exciting to me. Will, is all the Christmas shopping done? Uh, well, I'm hoping that my wife's not listening right now. <laughs> but but she knows the answer to this. Uh, none of it is done. Not one thing. Yeah. I usually do. I've gotten better. Uh, it used to be all my Christmas shopping was done on the 24th. But then my wife decided for some crazy reason, to host Christmas Eve at our house. Oh, so that kind of yeah. uh, ruined my plan. <laughs> so now I have to be creative. So now I do it all on the 23rd. There you go. Yeah, that works. <laughs> but, here, but here's the thing. You know I'm going to screw up Christmas this year because I'm taking my older son. Uh, we're leaving the after practice on the 23rd to Boston for the Celtic OKC game nice. on the night of the 23rd. So I have no idea when I'm doing my shopping. I guess I'm going to have to go uh, online uh, at some point the next day or two and then make sure I get my stocking stuffers, the old CVS gift cards. You know what I mean? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Coach, I want to wish you luck on the game, but I think I need to wish you more luck on the Christmas shopping. You know what? I I think you're right. And uh, the crazy (laughs) thing is when my kids open up their gifts, I'm more surprised than they are because I have no idea what my wife, or excuse me, Santa, right. got them. Right, yeah, exactly. Oh, good, that arrived yeah, on time. I married Perfect. smart. I married yeah. smart. There you That's go, man. true, Coach. Coach, so what, do you got, what do you guys have going on for the holidays? You get you get a couple of days off? I know uh, I know Wyland and Bai are uh, high in the sky heading to Dallas, I'm sure. What do you guys got going on? I'm off from TV this week, Coach, so if you have, like, TV recommendation shows or movies I should be watching, I'll take Blue Bloods. Blue Bloods. Blue Bloods. All about all right. Blue Bloods. All right. And, and, Coach, of course, I'm working like a dong because LeVac has all of his time off. No, LeVac wants that? to make sure he's not working until, like, 2019. So, Gaz is Why, why am I not surprised at that? <laughs> so, Gaz and Ashley Miller are really picking up the workload here. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where's uh, where's Levac's hot spot now? Is it the tilted tilt or whatever it is? Is that his hot spot? It, it absolutely is. He's now no. Yeah. Uh, they have Levac. I, I wonder why. Uh, <laughs> could it be the burgers or the service? Let me flip a coin yeah, on that one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Coach, we love catching up with you. Best of luck. And Levac just popped his head into the studio, so I'm going to pop. I got to do. You guys enjoy the holidays. Yeah. Take care. Merry Coach. Christmas. Have a good one, safe guys. trip, man. Take care.